So, how about the latest on the Carlos Rodon situation? Okay, and how about the latest on Luis Severino and even Tommy Canely too? Uh, I got some insight for you. So, and then another pitcher has gone down with Tommy John surgery. This is becoming an epidemic. It's kind of nuts. Okay, and I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna have to look into this. But again, if you want to be kept in the loop on stuff, baseball. If you're a big baseball fan, especially if you're a big Yankee fan, please subscribe to this channel. Don't leave without doing that if you haven't done that yet. Okay, because I don't want you to miss out on anything. Okay. And if you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up as well, please. It's greatly appreciated. It's always helpful. So let's get to this. If you haven't heard, and there's been some chat, even on my live streams lately, which is a good thing because it's important to get, I think it's important to get the right information out. And who knows who has what, right? So what we're hearing now is, you know, on, on the uh, John Boy Talking Yanks podcast recently, they mentioned a unnamed but reliable source that said, told them to not expect uh, or get our hopes up about Carlos Rodon pitching this season, okay? To which, you know, probably the most reliable source and, and the best response ever was from his wife, Ashley, who responded to this tweet and just said one word, bullshit, and then a reliable source. So that's fire right there. And I really hope that she's on the money here. I hope that she's spot on. And, um, what do we know recently? Well, you know, the doctors did say his condition was chronic, okay, his back condition. Now, I don't know when that happened. I don't think anybody says there's a lot of assumptions where that, that it happened before the Yankee sign us and they knew about it. It happened now. Like, we just don't know. So at least don't know yet. And we don't know who the source is either. So it would be nice if they named the source so that this, you know, all kinds of propaganda is going to be spreading out about this stuff. But the fact is, you know, fans are frustrated. Yankee fans are frustrated that like, Rodon hasn't been pitching. We need him in the rotation. We have 40%, two out of five starters, not in the rotation right now. Him and Luis Severino, who we'll get to in a minute. And again, so what do we also know? The Yankees are, so he got a, a cortisone injection on Tuesday in his back. Three back experts recommended it, okay, the Yankees before the Yankees did it. So they got it. He's apparently not going to pitch uh, until at least Friday or Saturday. They want to have him on a mound starting a throwing program. What we do know with, with Carlos Rodon is he's been throwing pretty much all season. So to a degree, whether it be long tossing this or whatever, on a mound, doing different things. So his ramp-up period is not going to be the same as someone who hasn't done any throwing at all, which is a good thing too. But how he responds to the cortisone shot is going to determine how you know when he's – maybe eligible to come back and so on and so forth. So there's still a lot that, that still remains to be seen. So we need to see him pitch well on the mound and then recover well so they can get him on a rehab assignment and get him back. I personally don't expect him until probably the, uh, the all-star break. Um, but we don't, we just don't know. Okay. But it is frustrating. He's expressed the same frustration. And, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of speculation to that. He's frustrated with the Yankees and blah, blah, blah. I haven't seen him say that at all. I know he's frustrated not being able to pitch with his, with his teammates and help the team and blah, blah, blah. But I haven't heard him saying or accusing the Yankees of holding him back or stopping him, blah, blah, blah. Because, I mean, you got the doctors recommending this too. And so there's all kinds of speculation going out there. But that's what we know right now with the Carlos Rodon situation. Okay. Now let's pivot over to, and I'm looking at my notes here. Pivot to Tommy Canely. Okay. He had right biceps tendonitis. So. He threw the hitters again in live batting practice uh, uh, session, session on th yesterday. And they're looking to see how well he responds, just like Carlos Rodon, how well he recovers after his throwing sessions. Because that is a term that determines when the next session is going to be or helps determine that, right? So they say he's going to do it one more time or begin a rehab assignment. Now, there's a timeline here, too. He's eligible to come off the 60-day uh, IL on May 26th, okay? and But they want him to get four to six sessions in the minors, Four to six into four to six games in the minors before getting called up. So I don't know if it's within that time frame that they wanted to get four to six games before 26th. Maybe we'll see, but that's what we know about the timeline for Tommy Canley. So he's at, at worst probably two weeks away. So and apparently he's feeling good, recovering well from his sessions too. So another plus. So now that's Rodon, that's um, Canley. Severino through one rehab assignment. It sounds like they're looking to get one or two more. They want him to get up to 60 plus pitches for his games, right? So, and before coming up to the majors. And I get it, you know, just like I think to a degree, 
And I can't confirm this. I mean, I haven't heard them say, but I think to a degree they're being a little bit more ginger with uh, uh, Domingo Herman too, not letting him really, really extend himself. Because I think that the fact that we have two guys on the IL already, and I could be off base on this. This is not an excuse, to, despite what some people <laughs> accuse me of in, in, in the live streams. Is he? Are they protecting Herman too because they don't want to push him to the point where he gets hurt too? And we have three guys on the IL instead of two. I don't know, but I'm guessing that's probably one reason they pull him out uh, and a, a batter early, a couple batters early, or whatever in these games. Even though he's at 85, 90 pitches, which is the highest that he's been around. He's been at like 92 this season. So, but I don't know. So that, that's just a guess for me and speculation on my part. So we'll see. But I think that, you know, they're kind of towing the same line with Luis Severino. They don't want any more setbacks. And he's already shown frustration, as is, as has Carlos Rodon, too. So uh, that's my um, my guess there. Okay, but they did say they gave a number, 60-plus pitches for Severino, too, before he comes up back up to the majors. So I'm guessing his timeline's probably a week or two away, too. They might do one or two more rehab starts and then be up here. So just hope he stays healthy and continues on the path. Now, let's pivot over to non-Yankee stuff. You know what this is? It's Tyler Molly, okay, M A H L E. He's pitching with their twins. He was with the Reds. Um, he's gone down. He has to have Tommy John surgery. They just announced on MLBTradeRumors.com, and um, which sucks because he's going to be free agent at the end of the season. Okay, but I don't know if this is like an epidemic, and there's so many pitchers going down. Tommy John, two guys from the Rays, one or two guys from the Angels. I mean, you got guys across the board. Tommy John, I'm really, really happy that Rodon hasn't been, you know designated as a Tommy John guy. So, I mean, we already lost almost two years of the four-year extension of Luis Severino, the freaking Tommy John. So, last thing we want is more Tommy John cases. So, but Tyler Marley's going down. Again, the Twins are a team that if the Yankees make the playoffs, they're likely going to have to face. So, they just lost a member of their rotation. They, you know, they've got Sonny Gray, they've got Kent Maeda, they've traded for Pablo Lopez, but they lost one of their guys. So, like, it would suck for the Yankees to not have Carlos Rodon in the, ro in the rotation come playoff time. So, I get it. This sucks. He's going to miss this season and probably half an next year, too. But, I mean, hoping that this is not becoming a, more, a bigger epidemic around baseball. But there's a lot of Tommy John cases going around right now. And hopefully they look into it. But that's what I got for you right now. That's the Rodon, the Severino, and the Canely news, and the Tommy John news. If anything else that comes out, you know it. You're going to get it here. I'll be back later on tonight later on today with the lineup when that comes out. Game two, Garrett Cole's on the mound. Hopefully he's pissed. Hopefully he wants payback. The Yankees need to play way better today than they did last night when they lost 8-2 to the Rays. That's what I got for you. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you later.